This is Trek Zone's That Time When. We first saw him in the pilot of The Next Generation and he reprised the role of Q countless times over the preceding 14 years. Today, I sit down with John Delancey. Now in its seventh year of podcasting, this is Trek Zone's Vegas or Bus Tour with your host, Matt Miller. Well, welcome to a Trek Zone conversation, continuing STLV coverage throughout August, and I'm very excited with today's guest. It is, of course, Q himself, Mr. John Delancey. John, thank you so much for a little bit of your time. It is, of course, Q, isn't it? <laughs> yes, you're quite welcome. Star Trek. How, how is I've this, heard of it. <laughs> this this little TV show that, that you appeared on once or twice. Right. How's the what's the journey been like for you? Well, it's an extraordinary journey. I mean, it's something that most actors one. don't ever get to experience. Um, and whenever we see each other, we go, "How lucky we are!" You know, really. Um, uh, so I'm I'm delighted to be involved and uh, it uh, coming to Las Vegas a little bit like you know old home week because we see each other and we haven't seen each other for perhaps a year or so. Also, we see fans that uh, we have seen for 30 years. So we're all growing old together. <laughs> Well, you haven't aged a day because you are an omnipotent being. Yes, well, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I look exactly the same on radio as I did 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, Star Trek kept you coming back. What's it like to receive that call from your agent and say, Star Trek want to do another episode with Q? Well, they would call not quite once a year, almost once a year. Uh, I think I, one year I did not do an episode for TNG. Uh, and they would say, you know, we have a Q episode and it's going to be in about, I don't know, a month or six weeks and uh, hopefully he's available. Who is your favorite captain your favorite? Or, or commander or, or lead actor of, of the show? Well, I mean, well, I mean uh, you know, that's sort of a twofold question. The, the, the fact of the matter is, is that it's really what is, uh, what scenes work the best. <laughs> And the scenes that probably worked the best were between Q and Picard. Um, uh, there was no constraints. They, they, there, were, there were constraints with Janeway. They, they just were so concerned that Kate might end up playing it where she became infatuated or I became infatuated. They didn't want any of that, which I think was somewhat of a mistake, but in any case, they didn't want any of it. Thank you.